Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Storms. And I'm Jason Stradwick. Today we salute our forces from the Edmonton Garrison Memorial Golf and Curling Club. We have a very special guest with us, Sergeant Chris Burns. This course has seen a major facelift since last season, including 30 new tee boxes and a brand new fleet of power carts with GPS, even wrapped in Canadian Forces camouflage to give you the full military experience. Our guest today is potentially the best motivational speaker I've ever come across and my future life coach. Former Empton Eskimo and current head coach of the University of Alberta Golden Bears football team, Chris Morris. The rest of my life starts today. I have three holes to learn from you, Chris Morris. Thank you for coming out today. Thanks for having me out. Is it intimidating knowing that he holds you in such a high regard? Well, I have, I'm gonna start off as your life coach right now and yes. say to you, the first piece of advice I have you need higher standards. Oh, That's exactly all right, I love it. Write that down, someone write it down. I was gonna say you need heels today. You need a higher set guy, of heels. Big guy. <laughs> all right, right, how's your golf game? You know what, okay, I don't get to golf as much as I would like, but you know, I enjoy golfing. Okay, well, we're gonna test your skills today. We're gonna head out to number 10 here and meet up with the assistant GM and head golf professional, Adam Wizer. He'll give us an interesting tip. Time now for the pro tip brought to you by the ATV Classic. We're talking about the bump and run. I'll have you walk through it today. Yeah, thank you, Megs. Uh, I hear that this is uh, Mr. Strudwick's one of his stronger points. 100% of many, one of many. Have you <laughs> been working with your life coach on this one recently? <laughs> Only had a few hours, not much time to work with him yet. <laughs> exactly. We'll see. It's, that's good, because practice always helps. This is a somewhat difficult shot. Uh, and generally, the idea is that when you have a golf ball on a tighter lie, whether it's a shorter grass or a high traffic area, it's very difficult to get a club face or a wedge underneath the golf ball and get it up in the air. So when you have a hill in front of you, when you're trying to use that to your advantage, you have to hit the golf ball into that hill to help slow it down so you can then have the golf ball rest hopefully nice and close to the hole. If you don't, if you're trying to hit a bigger shot, you can either skull it over the green or chunk it where you're still trying to make an up and down after that point. So there's a couple things you want to do when trying to execute the shot. Uh, first thing is that you want to figure out where you want to hit that golf ball. So you want to find a point in the hill in your future where exactly you want to hit it. It's not how hard you hit it isn't as important as the general area where you want that ball to make contact with the hill or the mound that's in front of you. Because that angle is what you're going to be reading and that's what you want to play to have the ball then finish out to your target destination. So when you're addressing the golf ball, hey, when you want to set yourself up, is you want to feel like you're leaning into the shot a little bit more. A little more weight on your left side as for, uh, for a right-handed golfer. I know you're weird left-handed. That's right. <laughs> uh, so you can work with your life coach on that one. Uh, but as you lean into the shot, and then it's just the importance is getting the club face on the back of the golf ball. It's not trying to pick it clean. It's not trying to help it up in the air. It's just letting yourself, the momentum, go back and have more of a club face exposed to the back side of the golf ball. So it'll come, the ball will come out pretty low, hit your target on the mound, and then release to where you want it to go. So, uh, do we have any volunteers? That's Sergeant Burns, yeah. yeah. Would you like to execute the shot for us, please? <laughs> the burn dog, sir. Yeah. I like that the golf pro doesn't even execute yeah. the shot. Yeah. Just throwing yeah. us under the bus. He's got carpal tunnel. Yeah, it works. Yeah. You're on. You're dancing. You're on. That's not bad at all. Well, Chris should be next. Oh. oh, that's a great shot. Oh, oh man. Soft hands. Nicely done. So you're gonna tell us how this is your normal shot, just so you feel a built-in excuse? Oh, no, I'm probably gonna hold it. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sure ran out on me. Okay, All stretch. Right. Dance floor is yours. Yeah. A lot of talking going on so far, so we'll see. This is what it's like seeing Picasso with a paintbrush in his hand. I think you've used that line before. Still a good one though, mate. <laughs> Hold on. Hang on. Oh, geez, Phil Mickelson. Delivered, boom, just like that. Clutch, that was clutch. We'll see if you can putt when we come back on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, 
Crane and Picker Services with branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Over the past 20 years, Trilogy Oil Field has been an industry leader with value and integrity at the core of their business. When you choose Trilogy, you know you're getting exactly what you need when you need it. Industry leaders in fishing tools, completions, through tubing, abandonments, and rentals, Trilogy Oil Field is your one-stop shop for professionally supervised solutions to your well site needs. If that problem well is driving you nuts, we have answers online at TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we are at the Edmonton Garrison Memorial Golf and Curling Club with Chris Morris, head coach of the U of A Golden Bears football team. And let's talk a little bit first about this whole life coach thing. You are one of the best motivational speakers that I've ever heard. Every time I've heard you do an interview, Strudwick can attest to this, that you, you make him want to play football. Do you it's want to true. talk a little it's bit true. about this? No, listen, like, you know, as, as, as a coach, I think it's really important to reach out to kids and get, and get that point across. So, you know, what's your approach with kids to get them motivated, not only be good um, athletes, but to be good students? You know, we talk a lot about just things that are important to me. So when we talk about sports and we talk about what it's done for my life and we talk about what I think it should do for the lives of young men, it's about what sports are going to provide for them moving forward. Because it's a short window that you get to play any sport, whether it be hockey, whether it be football. And there's so many things that they can get along the journey if they do things right. So we talk about the habits that will lead you to be successful moving beyond football, because football is going to be over very quickly. So we talk about work, we talk about making sure you take attention to detail, we talk about looking after each other and our family. And those things are important no matter what workplace you go to. If you embrace that place and you embrace the fact that you're part of something bigger than yourself, you're going to be successful. I think that's lost a lot on kids these days, it's lost a lot on this next generation coming up. It's lost on a lot of people in my generation. And I think if I look at myself and I look at what leads to success, that's one of the greatest attributes you can have looking at life that way. So what about as far as the consistency? Because it's hard to do that every day. Yeah, and I think you look at every day as an individual opportunity to do it, right? If you, if you look at places like, this is the way I have to be all the time, and if I mess up once, that's, it's over, then you're always going to think yourself as being inadequate. But if you look at, okay, today's an opportunity for me to do things the right way. If today's an opportunity, and not just today, this next moment's an opportunity for me to do things the right way, the kids tend to buy into that. And especially at their age, they're young, they still see life as being kind of big and kind of scary, right? And, and you break it down to moments for them, which they can look at and they can digest. I think it's a lot easier for them. Well, I think in a little bit, we're going to have to talk about this amazing season that you guys had last year and uh, and what you were able to accomplish with this team. But we'll save that for the second hole. Right now, we're going to play out the first hole brought to you by Fleming Reed Petroleum. Chris, I hope that you're good at putting because uh, Strudwick's in there pretty tight. I'll give you the option of taking a three right now. Going, going, gone. Oh, it's got a chance. No, it didn't break. Oh. So that looks like a four right now. Okay. <laughs> Nothing there. A lot of chirping from somebody who's not in the hole yet. <laughs> Sorry about it. Chris, you're up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Soft hands. Easy putt. Oh. Come down. Uh -oh. Oh. Nothing there. That's awful. Looking Awful. for a break that wasn't there. There's nothing. You didn't want me to get a read either, eh, big man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see how it's going to be today. Advantage, Strudwick. Jeez. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, oh my God. Bob. Nice <laughs> try. Pick it up. I thought nice you had try. that one. All right. Wow. This, this reminds me of the grade eight spelling bee championship. I had to spell a word correctly to win. You could spell? Cat's tough. <laughs> <laughs> For the win. Single. Oh, oh look at that. congratulations. Look at that yep. Good job. I didn't think Boom. that you had that one in you. Yeah. Oh, one of us did. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations for showing up today. Stradwick wins hole number one. We are going to meet up with Adam one more time and he can tell us all about this beautiful golf course. Adam, the course is looking great. We were out here last year and there's already been a ton of improvements since then. Yes, we, we totally committed to a revamping of the golf course itself quality wise. Uh, so it's been a lot of work. We, we were able to haul in a lot of dirt over the winter season while the ground is frozen to not disturb the golf course as much. So we have a lot of new berms and part of that was a whole new uh, tee box infrastructure. Where we're trying to get uh, four sets of tees on every hole on the golf course for all, all types of golfers, whether it's your high handicap or low handicaps, so they have a variety there. So it's you know, basically golfer friendly for everybody, as well as just the overall maintenance of the greens, the irrigation system, you know, the, everything that goes into place of, of having a quality golf course. Now, we're on the base. But it's not just for military out here, right? Like everybody should come out here. And not only that, but you get a full history lesson on every tee box that you're at. Absolutely. I mean, we are really only two to three minutes away from the Hen Day. So for anybody in the greater Edmonton area, it's very accessible. And it's very common for people to think that public or the general Edmontonians aren't welcome here. Uh, it's just not the case. We are a public golf course. So we're getting a lot more traffic there. And then what we're doing with our memorial theme, which is the military history lesson you're talking about, is every hole is based on a significant Canadian Forces campaign. Uh, so we have tee markers, plinths with stories, and, and as we develop this over the years, it's going to be basically almost a walking museum for people to come out in regards to the Canadian Forces history. Well, thank you so much for having us out here again this year. We love it out here. You're very welcome. Glad to have you. We are going to take a quick break, and we'll come back with the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH after this. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Over the past 20 years, Trilogy Oilfield has been an industry leader with value and integrity at the core of their business. When you choose Trilogy, you know you're getting exactly what you need when you need it. Industry leaders in fishing tools, completions, through tubing, abandonments, and rentals, Trilogy Oilfield is your one-stop shop for professionally supervised solutions to your well site needs. If that problem well is driving you nuts, we have answers online at TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Edmonton Garrison Golf Course with Chris Morris, the head coach of the Golden Bears football team. We're about to do our second hole. I won the first hole, uh, not surprisingly, with a seven iron chip, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're on the 16th hole, time for a KP. See if you can follow up that birdie, buddy. Oh yeah. yeah gonna like it. Golf guys. <laughs> Hockey and golf, eh? Hockey and golf. While you're on there, it's going to be a long putt. Long putt, no problem. Boom, boom. Well, you and Meg are trying to get back in this uh, competition here. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to practice with a tee box, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is it enough club? Good. Oh, oh, look at nice that. one. Look at that. <laughs> one hand <laughs> on the club, too. You saw the ball <laughs> through, too, right? Uh, let's do this, Meg. You got to get in this competition. Okay. Holy jeez. Oh, get left. So. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. No, you're on, bud. Yeah, you're French. Just, um, yeah. That'd be all right. It's going to be a long <laughs> Well, Chris, we talked about it a little bit on the first hole, but let's talk about the first win that you guys had this season, the first win in four years for the Golden Bears football team. Yeah, it had been a long drought. It was, uh, it was really nice to see the kids because when I came in as the coach, we started working very, very hard, and we had the kids in at 6 in the morning a whole bunch of times a week, and we had them just doing some very, very incredibly hard work. So for them to actually get that first win last year, which, which was awesome, 
but also for us to play really, really competitive games against Saskatchewan, who's one of the top teams in the country, and we actually beat Manitoba, who finished fourth in the country. So we had some really, really good progress. It was, it was fun to watch the kids kind of start to grow up. You know, maybe it takes a little longer for the wins to come, but you're putting all that time and effort, and you maybe deserve better sooner. Yeah, you know what? You, you, I, I, I'm a big believer that you, you get what you deserve. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> sure. And we were yeah. we were there, and we, we were close yeah. in games, and like we're not ready yet at this point to win those games. But I'm really confident with this group of kids. I think they're special, and I think over the next few years, because they've taken their lumps and because they've gone through some hard times, they understand the standard that we need to be really, really good. And I'm excited to watch them because they're just you know it's like having your own kids, and you see yeah. them growing up right before you, and yeah. and, and I'm happy for them, and I'm proud for them. And you know, I'm hoping that this next year we show some really good things. How does recruitment go leading up to that? And not only that, but you have to keep these kids positive. And that's tough to do when you're going on four years without a win. Yeah, and you know what, like I, they hadn't won for two years before I got there. And, and sort of going in and adopting a legacy of not having won for so long was, was difficult. So you go in and you start talking about, okay, psychologically, how do we approach this? Let's not worry about having to change the world in a day. Let's worry about, let's just, let's get a really good workout today. And then tomorrow, let's get a really good workout again and start working about just the time right in front of you to try to get better. And the kids, you know, to their credit, they really, really embraced that. And the first year we were there, we were close in several games. And we really could have won a game that first year. But last year, they continued to stay on the path. They continued to believe in the things we were preaching. And even though the first game of the year we got crushed by Calgary, everybody still believed. So then we played the next week and we lost again, but we've lost an overtime game to one of the top teams in the country. And then we started actually winning games. And I think to me, that was the, watching the kids just embrace what we were talking to them about and ha understanding that they were with us on that and that they believed in it, that was a huge piece. And I, and I was really, really proud of them for doing that. Meg, I hope you soak that all up because I'm starting to lose belief that you can even be in this tournament. So good luck with this next shot. Uh, just so you know, it's not a tournament. It's a three-hole challenge. It's match play. And I'm in it. You're on the green. Is that you right there? That's no. Bad. No, you're no. on the dirt. Oh. That's good. Right? <laughs> All right, let's play the second hole brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. Well, this is technically ground under repair. As much as Strudwick would like to disagree with that. It's always so frustrating to play with weaker players. It throws you out of your rhythm, eh, Chris? <laughs> yeah, it's awful. I got this one. So you're hitting two or three here? Two. Just want to make sure That's everyone how ground knows. Ground under home. repair works. Roll out. Oh boy. Way short. Maybe you should use a seven iron. I probably should have. <laughs> I don't like the bump and run shot. I like a 56 degree. Maybe I should switch. Oh boy. This must be like watching Ted Williams with a baseball bat in his hand. <laughs> You're gonna hit it really far? Just far enough, Meg. Hustle. Hustle, Russell. Oh. Oh, no. A little meat left. Before. First. Oh, three. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it is slow. Look at oh, it. Oh, this is slow. way slower than the yeah. last one. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Built in excuses. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for the win. Yeah, for the win. Get in. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on. Awesome. That was there great. Go. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's a miracle. Great shot. Yeah, I love it. Is anybody else regretting inviting this guy out? Oh, he's excellent. Yeah, excellent. Wow. Guys are taking over today. Best Holy jeez. <laughs> that is great. Okay, Stradwick has a win. Chris Hello. has a win. Yes. I need to get in this. We'll see what can happen. We'll be right back to play the third and final hole on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Northern Bears Edmonton's premier golf experience. Play a Jack Nicklaus course away from the distractions of the city. The peaceful surroundings are perfect for any tournament or function. Book now at northernbeargolf.com. 
Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving Service. Today we're at the beautiful Empton Garrison Golf Course with the big man himself, the head coach of the Golden Bears football team, Chris Morris. After two holes, Strudwick has a win with a birdie. Chris has a win with a birdie. Yeah. I think we see a theme here. It's time to play the third <laughs> and final hole. We'll start it off with a long drive competition. Let's see if this height oh, amounts yeah. to anything off the tee. <laughs> <laughs> much thinking here. Oh, 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 oh my god. Right See ya. Yeah. Wow, nice one. Look at that. Jeez. Nothing wow. to this game. Nice Not too shot. Far. Not too far, but down the middle. Are Thanks. you sure right. that football was your call? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good <laughs> shot, Not man. sure, really, but <laughs> just got to make sure I don't get driven by a hockey guy. Oh, oh wow. Challenge, <laughs> eh? All right. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Wow, oh, a little bit right. Oh, go oh. way right. I would say way right, Meg. Well, you know, let's <laughs> say way right. I got a good look at the green, though. <laughs> Time to wake up here, Meg. Be a part of the show. All right. There you go. Nice. Oh, it's low. A little scoot on up there. You get on in three for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm past the 150 marker, so that's the goal, just to get on in three now. Yeah. Chris, what are some of your favorite memories playing in the CFL? Uh, I think you, you start at the beginning when you're young and you come in and it's just such a, an honor or privilege to be somewhere where they're actually paying you to play a sport, right? <laughs> so, you know, you come in and you're in the Edmonton, Edmonton Eskimo locker room and you got you know, guys like Rod Kahn up there, Willie Plus there. And so you, you come in and you're just like a kid in a candy store, just loving playing and loving being part of it, right? And then, you know, we won within two years of being of being there in my first year. And then we had a long, long, long period where we didn't win, well, 10 years. And then those last few years where we were really, really good again and we were winning. So I, I think those two periods of time were I think my, my favorite parts of my career, just because you had that opportunity both, in both sections, it was just so. At the beginning was just so fresh, and at the end, we we knew we were good, and we knew we had an opportunity to win. And it had been a long time. And I think that when you've been part of a team that's been bad for a while, and all of a sudden you, you've built it, and you you've made lots of sacrifices to be part of something to make it good, it's a lot of fun. Who's your favorite teammate over all the years? No, I've had a few really good ones. Like Gizmo was a really really good teammate because he he kept everything light, and he played. He was the the best player on the team probably when he was playing and he cared about the team more than himself. There's lots of real good things about him. You know, I played with some great offensive line groups, and I think when you look at, as an offensive lineman, that's sort of your group. That, yeah. it's, it's almost like herd instinct, right? You're always together, you're always yeah. doing things together. And I played with Tim Prinson and Bruce Beaton and you know Dan Comiskey and Kevin Lefser, and we were a group for quite a few years together, and it was a lot of fun. I think rather than just saying one person, that group of people was a special group. We all cared about winning, we all cared about the team, and it was, it was fun to be part of. What about when you were in a game and you looked across the line, who's the one guy you really looked forward to playing against? Uh, <laughs> you know what, I didn't look forward to playing against some really good ones. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> how am I going to block this guy? <laughs> you know, so there, there were a few like that. I'll tell you, Joe Monford was a, was a terror to play against, right? And it was just when we got him in the trade, I think I was the happiest guy in Canada. <laughs> so it was just, thank goodness we got this guy. And there were, you know, there were a few guys over the years that I had really good battles with. I can remember at the beginning of my career, there had a guy named Will Johnson in Calgary, and I think he's a police officer there now. Yeah. And we had some wars. We just hated each other. Hated each other. There was no happiness at the end of the game. <laughs> we didn't even look at each other. It was just a complete brawl every time we played. Yeah. And when you look back now, those those were the most fun things yeah. to be part of because it's just such a level of competition. And if I saw him now, I can guarantee you that we would both shake each other's hands and be friends. <laughs> but we didn't. We wouldn't do that then. But, yeah. but it was fun. I don't see you as an intimidating guy. And when you're on that O-line, like you should be putting some fear into people on the other side, right? Yeah. Well, what were some of your, like, where do you draw that from? Because you seem like one of the nicest guys I've ever met. All I cared about back then was winning football games. All I cared about was my teammates and, tr and trying to take care of my part of it. And part of being a good offensive lineman is being, you're the teeth of the team. So if you're out there and people aren't, 
somewhat scared and somewhat intimidated that you're out there that you're gonna you're gonna get after them, then you're not a good offensive lineman. So you couldn't so, let people know how nice you were, basically. No, and you know what? I don't think I was that nice. Back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've evolved, just like I think all people should evolve in the course of their lives. But I, back then, I don't think I was, and I, I you know, I, and I, I think it was part of a group that probably wasn't off the field. We did all sorts of community service and all sorts of wonderful things, but when we played, we just. We had a disregard for the people we were playing against, and I think that was healthy for professional football at that point. Is that evolution coming anytime soon for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I can tell the competition's ratcheting up. Let's hit our last three shots here <laughs> and see who truly is the champion. Okay. Okay, well, this isn't ideal, but... I'm sure glad I'm not you. Champions make great shots under pressure. And I might just be a champion. Too hard? Too much juice? Yeah, no you're idea. over. Just to the right there, yeah. There's a shrub there, I think you're into that. A little too strong. Well, don't think negative right off the hop. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This is going against everything we've talked about good. today. Yeah, How positive you're you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Probably in a gopher hole. Time to show up. Oh, look at that. Magnificent. Get up there. Nice shot. That's good. Look. That's legit, Meg. Birdie range. Keep it going here. All right. We need you. Right in the sand. All right. I chip. Oh. I can chip up from there. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Quick up and down. There it is. Oh, that oh looks my. Good. Oh, there we go. Nice shot. Perfect. Soft hands on the big guy. This is not ideal. I can't believe that you're making us stand here with you too. No. This is, look at the hockey grip. I really feel like somebody uh, kicked us in the trees. Good shot. Oh. Look at you. Hit, the Hit it. Oh. 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 Good ah, shot. It's a little bit good. I'll take it though. Do you want to concede oh, yet? Yeah, no. <laughs> is that my third shot? <laughs> Do or die here. The last guy. Do or die. No. Nope. Not bad. Held right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way to pat your own back. Okay, you're out of this one. Yes, I Down am. Down to me and Chris. Oh. oh. No. Okay, two shots to win here, Meg. But a real champion would go for it, obviously. Well, obviously. We'll find out what you're made of right now. Probably laying up, I'm guessing. Yeah. Breaks too much. Is this a gimme? No, we'll make you put it. <laughs> we finish it off. Yeah. Shot. All right, Congrats. it's a complete Congrats. push. Yeah. You win a hole, you win a hole, I win a hole. Everybody's happy on the Pro-Am Golf Show. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah, it's fair. Oh, it's fun. It's fair. Let's take a look at the shot of the show brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Real Estate. Oh! oh. Right at the pin. Is it that enough looks club? Good. Oh, oh, look at nice that. one. Look at that. <laughs> one hand <laughs> on the club to you. Saw a fall too, right? All right. Classic. Awesome. Good job. This is going to go. Boys are on. Chris, we want to thank you so much for coming out here today. We had an awesome time with you. And from Century Vision Care in Maui Gym, we have a pair of sunglasses oh, for you, you to take home as a thank you for doing the show. All right, let me try one. Yeah. Classy. Very, Very nice. nice. And stylish. That's right. Yeah. Holy jeez. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch us every Saturday at 1130 right here on CTV Edmonton. And if you miss any of our episodes, they are all online at proamgolfshow.ca. And don't forget that you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Proam Golf Show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next week. Edmonton Memorial Garrison. Why, why give me that tough part? <laughs> Do you want to switch? A little late now, we've kind of committed to it. Eh? <laughs> Add him one more time, and he can tell us all about this beautiful <coughs> Bears football team. Start. There you go. What is going on with your socks? What do you mean? Are they two different socks? Uh, they might be. Yeah, okay. But Just wondering.